Okay, now, unfortunately, when we uh, look at these functions, and we want to complete the square, it has to be what we call a monic polynomial. And by monic, that means that this coefficient of x squared has to be 1. If that's not 1, we can't complete the square. Luckily, we can take out a common factor of whatever we've got here. Um, so that it does, so that we do have 1 as a coefficient of x squared. In this case, it's 2, but if it was 3, 4, 5, it doesn't matter. We still take out that as a common factor. So over here, we take out 2 as a common factor. That means we're going to be left with 2 outside of the brackets. We've got x squared plus 2x minus 4. So from there, we end up with 2. Then we halve and square 2. So we've got x squared plus 2x. Half of 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so we're going to say plus 1, minus 1, minus 4. So now we've got 2, that'll factorise to x plus 1, all squared, and this becomes minus 5. So from there, then we expand this a little bit. So this 2, we're going to multiply this 2 by this term, and also by this term. So this will end up becoming 2 x plus 1 all squared minus 10. So basically, if we were to draw this as a graph, we would have a turning point at negative 1 and negative 10. So we'd have a turning point somewhere about here, and then to draw the graph, it would look something like that. Okay, on to the next one. We've got negative 2x squared minus 8x minus 14. Like before, 2 is our common factor, so this is what we're going to take out. So 2, we're left with x squared minus 4x minus 7. Uh, so 2x squared minus 4x, we're going to have this 4 and square it, so we're going to end up with plus 4 minus 4 minus 7. Factorise that to x. Uh, minus 2 all squared minus negative 4 minus 7 11 once again re expand so 2x minus 2 all squared minus 22 so we've got a turning point at negative uh, negative 2 and negative 22 of a of a parabola 